All right, let's get started. I've got a lot of grinding for us to do today. Since we are close to the end of the game, but fairly mismatched in levels. Now I could go and try to take care of the Eevee training, but I feel like doing the level training first would make the Eevee training easier, because then we can fight their level 70 group with all of our Pokemon. Shebit has Intimidate? That's weird. looking like um let's let's take the XP share from Cortez whoops that's not what I want to do item give There we go. Alright, so now Wendy will be getting the XP. Ah, Force Palm. That's funny. You guys see those, uh, see that new trailer for, uh, on the Pokemon channel? Let me make sure the chat's coming through. It is indeed. Uh, I'm pretty excited about uh, about Lichen Rock. It's pretty pretty cool looking, in my opinion. It's finally given me uh, a favorite Rock type Pokemon. Oh, it has Endure. That's lame. Also, uh, Super Evo Boost, uh, Eevee's special exclusive Z move, is pretty entertaining. Pikachu's is really cute, but Eevee's is super entertaining in the fact that. It just goes say the moon and all. Hey, Ghost Raid. Uh, no, you're on time. I uh, I kind of just started. I did see that you were already hanging out in the chat though, so good on you. Uh, I don't know exactly why you were expecting me to uh, to be here, but I uh, I really appreciate it. Today's a, uh, today's gonna be 
Ah. Well, good on you. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate the dedication. Yeah, I was a little bit late today. I was uh, I was playing other games and all of a sudden I was like, oh, it's 7.15. I better start the stream if I'm going to stream today. <laughs> so here we are. Today, today's gonna mostly be, uh, is mostly gonna be some of the more grindy parts, you know, trying to, uh, trying to get our team leveled up, uh, if we get them to a decent level, uh, then we'll switch over to the EV training with the ninjas. Beat uranium, wow. Nice. Don't uh don't spoil it too much for me. Trying to get, trying to get Wendy up in levels. About how much would, you, about how much would you say I have left to go? Like, don't, don't tell me what's, what's gonna happen. But like, how close to the end do you think that we are? here on the stream. Because I, I imagine that all that's left is the uh, is the championship, plus like maybe some little story blurb afterwards. Unless there's like more to do after you beat the championship. And uh, there, there's still no Pokemon Go because I still haven't gone out and gotten more, uh, gone out and gotten more Pokeballs. Oh, I could have used Leaf Blade on this guy, but oh well. Well, I don't have a whole lot of followers just yet. You know, I've only been streaming for like a couple weeks now, two or three weeks, something like that. Not too long. So the fact that I have almost 20 followers is pretty, whoa! All right, game time. How do we do this to where we don't kill it? Obviously catch, yes.
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna intentionally kill a shiny. Are you kidding me? Alright. False way. Oh, it woke up. Oh no, it knows wild charge. That's not good. Okay. Let's do false swipe one more time. Ah! No! Holy cow. I've got one shot. Yeah! We got it! Any ideas for the nickname on this guy? He's a pink electric velociraptor. That's a good way to start out a stream though. Man. I was thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I'll do this grinding off camera because this is really boring, but we, <laughs> we did the exact thing that I, that I just, we, we caught a shiny, which is exactly why I decided to not do the grinding off camera. Oh. Oh man, that's great. Alright, I'm gonna name him Barry. Is that how you spell berry, like, like the fruit? I think it is. Let me check. Yep, that's right. All right. We got another shiny. Since we did that, let's go and let's go and uh, check him out. Time for you, I want to go see my new Pokemon. Let's see, is it this way the Pokemon Center? Yes. Okay. I suppose it could have gone the other way too. It has timid. Oh man. Oh, but it looks like it's a physical attacker. Whoa! 
well, it can do it can do special attack just fine too. It's its IVs aren't too great. But hey, what what do you expect from a from a shiny Pokemon? Oh, it's it's both a uh, it's both of them, huh? All right. Um. This works. Well, I imagine you can use the same methods that you use to breed to get IVs on all versions of the game. Let's see, track down, are you more steel or dragon? I'm gonna say you're more steel. Dark and poison. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this one's more dark. Look at all the nuclear Pokemon. We have so many. There we go. Does does this one evolve? I don't think it evolves. Let me let me take a look at my Pokedex, see if there's a space afterwards. That's not my Pokedex! See if we can find it. Aha! All right, it doesn't evolve. That's fine. Hey, cool! Look at that. We can look at. We can look at its shiny in the in the forms. That's pretty awesome. I don't think it's too much harder. You just have to look at Cell Kid. I don't have Cell Kid's shiny. Um, but okay. Um, I think Cell Kid's a little bit higher up. Yeah, here we go. I've only caught a female Cell Kid. so cool. I don't know if I'll be using it in my party because I'm pretty uh, because I don't know who I'd want to trade it out for.
because I'm really liking the the team we've got right now. Selkid's evolution is, is Bay. Let me see this. Serentide's not bad. Uh, not not really a Pokemon I would use, but not bad. I have caught 68 apparently out of 169 that I've seen. Or do you mean how many Pokemon at all have I caught? Because I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, here we can look at we can look at the boxes. Ground, raw, bug, psychic. Try to catch thirty more. Um get a dragon fairy type. Okay. Well I mean All right, let's go look and see what what we got. So Pokédex, what are what of the ones that we've seen are we missing? Let's go back to the top. All right, we can't catch Raptorch or Elatux. Uh, we don't have Kinet Monk. We could evolve Chinamonk into Kinet Monk. We don't have either of the evolutions of, of Burby, so we could do that. Uh, we don't have either of the evolutions of Cubbug, so we could do that. Um, yeah, I'm okay with doing that today. Let's let's get some Pokemon that we haven't evolved yet. I'll put. I'll put Fenrir away for now. Item, take the XP share. Item, give the XP share. Alright. I don't think I actually used the Pokemon Center while I was there. I think I just used the PC and my Pokédex the whole time I was in there. Oh, really? Oh, speaking of eggs, I should, as long as I'm doing this, I should put that, that egg into my party. So let's uh, let's put it there instead of Wendy for now. All right. So let's go grind up some XP on this on this Connect Monk. Right? That's what it's called, right? Well, it will be called Kinect Monk. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for doing that today. Spooky Kitty will still get XP as I'm doing this, so... Charge, level 7, level 8. Well, I mean, 
I, I have a Mankey, right? So I can just evolve my Mankey instead of trying to, uh, instead of trying to catch this Primate. But anything that I don't have a member of the evolutionary family yet, uh, I will definitely try to catch. Level 9, level 10. This is the benefit of doing this on Victory Road. Okay. Yeah, you you mentioned it as I was fighting a primate, so I figured you meant you wanted me to catch the primate, but I already have Menke, so I don't feel the need to catch primate. Level 11. When does, uh, when does Nuk Chuk Chuk or whatever his name is evolve into Kinect Monk? What, uh, what level is it? I imagine it's not too high of a level since he's, like, the equivalent of Ratata in the game. It's probably, like, level 16, 18, something like that. I'd be surprised if it's above 20. Learn Thundershock. I've really grown fond of Spoo Kitty. I'm really going for fond of like my whole party here.
I think he kind of belongs in the electric one now. Check the Pokédex, see who's next in line. That's the Pokepod. This just looks like a Pokédex to me. A lot more than that thing. Alright, next is Burby. Alright, flying. Here we go. Item XP share. Oops. Forgot to change this back. Alright, so we've got two evolutions to do on Burby. Or, what's he called? Demacia. That's right, we called it Demacia. I forgot about that. We've got two evolutions for Demacia! I am not even gonna fight Garuru. I can beat it, but it's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave. It's not worth the time. Attack, level nine. Nice. All right, so I imagine the first one's gonna happen around level 16, and the second one's gonna happen around level, like, anywhere from level 25 to 40 something. Did I just use Leaf Blade? I think I just used Leaf Blade. I meant to use Meteor Mash. Okay, I did use Meteor Mash. Good. Level 10, level 11. Trying to learn Sing. Can't learn more than four moves. Yes. Oh, totally gonna take Sing over Growl. By the way, what? Why is that? Because 
Because the point of it is so that I can, uh, so that I can stream Pokemon Sun and Moon to you guys. have a 2DS already, right? That is kind of more for personal uh, use, right? The point of the new 3DS would be for before streaming. Like, it, it would be... Yeah, the, the, the point of the new 3DS would be specifically for streaming. So, I don't know if I would really want to bother with uh, with waiting for a year because then I'd have to wait a year to stream uh, stuff on the on the new 3ds for you guys and that's not what I want I mean if if Sun and Moon has already been out for a long time before I'm able to get that set up, then maybe. But if it works out to where I can get Sun and Moon, the new 3DS, and the capture card, Like, if, if I, for some, if by some miracle, I'm able to get all of that before, like, if, if I get the funds to get all of that before uh, Sun and Moon comes out, uh, then I'd want to do them all at once. Oh, jeez. Well, I'd, I would be flattered, Ghost Raid. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly really flattered that you, uh, find me entertaining enough to, to, to offer that. Yeah, right now, right now I'm having trouble with, uh, I've been, I've been here for like a month and a half now in, in my new location, and I have, I've been searching for jobs this whole time, but uh, no one's quite picked me up yet. I've had lots of interviews, lots of phone interviews, and until I get some sort of uh, income, yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. Because I'm not, I'm not really into uh, to telling people my exact home address. I don't particularly mind if people somehow find out what building I'm in because of like Pokemon Go or whatever, if they manage to figure that out. But I'm in one apartment in this apartment building on a floor that is unknown to people, so I don't. I don't see people using what apartment building I'm in to figure out what exact apartment I'm in. There's a lot of apartments here. Hey, Demacia! evolved into Avidan. I, 
I've never actually set up a P.O. box. I wonder what all goes into that. I have to look into I have to look into that process. But yeah, for for now my priority has to be finding a uh, a, a new job here. Uh, especially because things like the internet bill have to be paid. <laughs> So yeah, I've, I've, I've done a few interviews uh, over the last couple of days that I'm pretty, I'm pretty hopeful about. Uh, I, I think that, I think that I'll hear back from one or, or two of them uh, within the next few days. Uh, hopefully, hopefully when I hear back from them, they'll be saying, they'll be saying that they want me. That'd be nice. One of them's a call center, so I would even be able to work from home, which is awesome. Can I Mega Drain to Rabbit? I don't know if I've ever done that. Question, Ghost Trade. Why do you have four new 3DSs and two of them are still in the box? Mouse is trying to learn Roost. Yeah, let's teach it Roost. Why not? Instead of Gust. the concept of cats. Cats can tend to be somewhat uh, somewhat mean from time to time. Um, I, I just asked why you have so why you have the four 3DS's that you do. If you don't feel like sharing it's fine. Uh, I'm just curious. With me I could I could never imagine Purchasing four of a system. Get me out of here. I don't want to fight PJ. Also, if you, uh. What the heck? Also, if you miss. If you miss a stream or part of a stream, I'm, I'm gonna keep uploading it to uh, YouTube. Uh, I've almost actually caught up. With uh, with the streams, which is awesome. You bought one in each color. Why did you buy one in each color? I mean, I kind of get why you bought specifically four now, but why did you feel the need to get one of each color?
Oh, why didn't you... Why didn't you choose colors ahead of time? <laughs> oh! Again, why didn't you, why didn't you each choose your colors ahead of time? Ah, well that's very nice. Man, that, those, those four, uh, those four new 3DSs must have been like the best things at that toy drive. You were like the king of that toy drive. It was like there were toy drives in my hometown, but no one ever donated like game systems. Then again, there weren't a lot of like outdated game systems at the time. <laughs> that. Oh. What does Feather Dance do? Covers Tar's body with the mass harsh that lowers its attack. Oh, interesting. So yeah, stop learning Feather Dance. So out of curiosity, what, uh... What two colors do you have in box? You got a GameCube and found out it was the wrong item? Oh man, I like both of those colors. After this battle, after this battle, I'm gonna go up and heal once. I think. Let me check my... Yeah. Oh! Well, just them being the, the new 3DS XL is, uh is pretty great just because it makes the screen bigger. Uh, one thing I always enjoyed about my 2DS is that it uh, is that it had a bigger screen than the normal 3DS's that were out at the time. Uh, but now the now the handhelds have way bigger screens than than that one. Uh, and I'm not sure if that translates over to, if that would translate over to the stream, but I think it would. Like, the bigger screen would give, then, the stream a higher resolution. I believe. I'm not sure, but I think that's how it works. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles, that's that... That's where Shulk is from, right? I honestly am not really familiar with that uh, with that game, other than 
other than Shulk <laughs> from Smash Brothers. Oh, I just thought of something. I was I was asking myself the other day, self, what's the newest, what is the youngest franchise that is represented in Smash Brothers? Because when you think about it, most of them are like industry heavyweight old timers, right? You got Pac-Man, Mario, Sonic, Donkey Kong, Legend of Zelda, Kirby, Ice Climbers for a long time. Uh, you know, surprised we don't have Dig Dug. But, uh, you know, when you think of some of the newer ones, there's, like, Pokemon is pretty new, but it's still, like, kind of old. Um, and so, I guess, I guess Xenoblade Chronicles is the, is the newest, is the youngest franchise represented in Smash Brothers? Unless there's someone I'm forgetting. Because Xenoblade Chronicles is like brand, is a brand new franchise, right? It hasn't been around for very long. I don't remember when the first Bayonetta game came. Oh, and Pikmin came out on the GameCube. Zine Brand Chronicles has been around since the Wii. Okay, so I think it's the I think it's the youngest one. Trying to learn scary face. Uh I don't think Bayonetta's first appearance was on the Wii. I think it I think it was on a non-Nintendo platform first. Uh, and then Nintendo bought Bayonetta and it came to the Wii. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think that that's how that all worked. Oh, Bayonetta is the youngest. What do you know? I was thinking she was definitely she was definitely a contender. I just wasn't sure if she was actually the youngest. I really like uh, in the Bayonetta games the Bayonetta rendition of "Fly Me to the Moon." It's really nice. If a game has good music, it can win me over really fast. Really? Huh. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. I didn't know that Nintendo would do something like that. Huh. Yeah, I could see why they'd think that. Nintendo... Like, Nintendo's... Like, come back now. But, like, for a while there, it was like the Wii printed money for them. But then the Wii U was like, no one bought it. <laughs> and they've survived off of the 3DS. But they've really worked with that. Uh, and since, uh, I think the problem is that the, the titles that they should have used as launch titles for the, for the Wii U were not there. Uh, they, they came like years later.
Plus, for a long time, I thought the Wii U was just a peripheral for the Wii. That's true. That's true. Um, that doesn't mean that they're... That doesn't mean that they're perfect, right? I mean, I'm, I'm a... I'm a Nintendo boy through and through, right? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna play console games, I'm a I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Nintendo console games most of the time. Uh, you know, and my my favorite games are all Nintendo games, or my favorite games are mostly Nintendo games. But. Uh, but for a while there, I was I was scared for them, is how I'll put it. I was I was afraid that Nintendo was gonna go away uh, because I I saw that they weren't doing well, and I was worried that that would be it for them. But hey, you know Sonic Team has stayed around forever. They've downgraded from being uh, you know Sega stayed around forever, but I mean they've downgraded from a normal company to a, uh, a third party company, but. They're still there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I know they've been around forever. Right? But that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean they're too big to fail. Right? They they could always mess up big enough to where they could go down. I, I know they've been around forever. I hope that they stay around forever. But sometimes I worry. Especially... They have some PR problems, in my opinion. Now, granted, not all of that 100 years was video games. 